In this video, I'll show you how to use ActiveCampaign and lead scoring to identify your hottest leads so you can take appropriate actions to close more deals. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make ActiveCampaign even better for Europe-based businesses. Let's dive in. Now, before I show you how to set up lead scoring inside ActiveCampaign, let's first talk about what it is and how it can benefit your business. Now, lead scoring gives a general idea of the level of engagement of your contacts using a point system based on different actions that that contact takes with your brand. Uh, these rules need to be well-defined internally based on your customer journey and the sales cycle. So for example, at Wildmail, uh, we might give five points for someone clicking a link in an email, uh, 10 points for replying to one of our emails, 20 points for visiting a sales page, 75 points for scheduling a sales call with us, and then uh, eventually 100 points for becoming a customer. And what this can help us uh, do is identify the right moment to add an additional personalized touch point uh, from a member of our sales team. So for example, we know that typically in a sales cycle, uh, someone will click a link in our emails three times, they will reply to at least one email, they'll visit the sales page at least twice, and they'll book at least one sales call before becoming a customer with us. Then when they become a customer, we can add an additional 100 points uh, to calculate a different lead score for an upsell. So let's say, for example, um, we want to fire off using behavior-based pitching. We want to send off a pitch or an email uh, from our sales team, inviting them to jump on a quick call and discuss whether product X is right for them. And we want to do that when their score changes to above 140. We can do that because we've got uh, 140 calculated by this here. This is our, you know, the average uh, amount of touch points that we've identified. And then we've got these weighted scores for each of those actions. Now you'll notice we're giving points for clicks, not for opens. And this is because typically, you know, you can have false positives, false negatives. Um, it's not the, the best representation of engagement with your brand. And that's why we start with clicks inside our email campaigns. And uh, also, of course, you can subtract if they take a negative uh, action, they unsubscribe from something, uh, you can also subtract points. Now, uh, when we set this up, you're going to notice we want one lead scoring rule, and then the rest are going to be done with automations because rules can only fire uh, for one time for that contact. So let me show you what that looks like, and we'll go in and set it up. We're going to go to contacts and scoring. So here we are in contacts, we're going to open up the navigation menu and we're going to go to scoring and you'll see we have one uh, lead score rule that's set up here that's active uh, i'm going to go ahead and create a test lead score with the top right add a score we're going to choose contact score in this case. You can create lead scores specific to deals as well, but in this case, we just want to do it for a contact. And so instead of score two, we're going to call it uh, lead score test. You can add a description if you want so you remember what it's for and hit save. And now it says use the segment builder below to create your contact score rule. And what we do is we're going to add one rule, add one condition, and we'll choose in list and our main list. And that's it. We'll hit save because, as I mentioned, rules can only run once for each contact. And then we want to use automations to add or subtract repeating point values. So in this case, we're going to adjust this to one point. And the points never expire for this, uh, this rule here. Now we can set this to active so that we can find it in our automations and hit save here. Now, in order to add those recurring points, we're going to go into our automations and you can create a new automation and we're gonna add a new start trigger. And let's say we want to create this one here, give five points for someone clicking a link in one of our email campaigns. So we'll go to this trigger, clicks a link in an email going to choose campaign. And for this, we can just say any email in any list. Uh, and the link would be any link. Typically, what you could do is identify specific links uh, that you want to add points for. 
there are unsubscribe links, etc., that we would not be giving points for, uh, you know, for engaging. So if you have specific links sending to a sales page, um, that would be an option or other marketing uh, content that you're linking to in the emails. In this case, I'll just say any email, any list, any link runs multiple times, hit add start. And now we want to be able to give them five points for every link click. So we're going to go to contacts, adjust a contact score. We're going to select the score that we just created, lead score test. We're going to add. And remember back here with our weighted points system that we defined beforehand, we're going to give them five points for each click. And here it's asking if you want these points to expire. Now, if you put never, these points are going to add up forever. And someone that maybe engaged with your content uh, six months ago can still be identified as a hot lead six months later. Uh, it doesn't always make the most sense, right? Because if they haven't engaged with your brand in a long time, uh, typically we, you know, we want to make sure that these points expire in maybe two or three months because uh, someone taking a few actions but not hitting your threshold to send off that personalized email, uh, you know, and then coming back to your brand six months, a year later, they're really not the same uh, hot lead as before. Things may have changed with your products, with your business. And so you kind of want to reset their lead score based on the amount of time between their engagements. So we are going to have these points expire. Uh, we'll just say three months in this case. But again, this is something you want to discuss and, and define internally whether or not you want your points to expire for the lead score. So we'll hit save. And now you can see here, We've got anytime the contact clicks a link in an email, we're going to add five points to their contact score. And what you can do is go into your contacts and go to the advanced search, select a condition. You can choose the lead score and then you can say is, is greater than, is less than, and you can always identify your hot leads based on that number using 140. You could say is greater than or equal to 140. And now you have that predefined hot lead lead score of 140. And you can sort through. And if you wanted to, you can send out campaigns uh, to them this way. Or you can send an automation like we had here, which is going to automatically send out an email whenever the contact score changes to above 140. We're going to send them an email here. It's actually going to come from our Gmail uh, using an integration. But if you have a certain plan that uh, includes the one-to-one -one emails, you can also fire off a one-to-one -one email directly from your own email address. So not from Active Campaign or Active Campaign servers uh, using automation here and uh, the lead score whenever it changes above a certain lead score. So if you have any questions about lead scoring, uh, setting up your, your point system or building out these automations, just let us know in the comments below. We'd be happy to help you out.